guys, this is Jam of Jam Online.ph and welcome back to my channel and today we got here the ASUS ZenBook Duo. This is the future of notebooks. Before we talk about the notebook, let's, uh, let me show you my main driver. So this is the MacBook Pro 13 inch. You can see here, it's a normal laptop. Yes, it's a fine laptop. We got a touch bar over here. This, however, is a very special notebook. Why? Because the Asus ZenBook Duo packs a dual display. We got here a 14 inch display and another touchscreen display that you can use as a secondary monitor. This is an amazing laptop. I'm telling you guys right now, the boost your productivity go with the Asus ZenBook Duo and I love using this notebook. But before we talk about the notebook, um, let's talk about the specifications of the notebook first. So we got here an up to Intel Core i7 10th gen processor, an up to 16 gigs of RAM. We got here a 14 inch full HD LED backlit display. It's a nano edge display. We also got here a 512 gigs of storage, USB-C, two USB-A, HDMI, audio combo jack, a micro SD card reader, and of course a full size keyboard, a 12.6 inch screen pad plus touch display, and uh, yeah, this is the notebook that you will probably get if you're into office work or if you love productivity. Why? Again, you can use this as your secondary monitor. What can you do with that? Well, you could use it to cross-reference your Excel file, then you do your work file over here, or you could do some gaming over at this part, or just, you know, play some YouTube uh, videos over here. There are a lot of applications that you can use on the Asus ZenBook Duo. So what are the scenarios that you can use yung uh, ScreenPad Plus ni Asus ZenBook Duo? Well, first, you could use it for video editing in where the main window will be over here and the timeline will be on the ScreenPad Plus. You could also use it for gaming, although this one runs on MX250 GPU. So uh, this one isn't that powerful, but still, you can still play some games, some light and casual games, including, you know, Minecraft and of course you could use it for programming again for cross-referencing your codes and your programs and of course you could use it for photo editing since this one is a touchscreen display so you already know the design of the notebook but how about the materials well of course we got here a metal build we still got here the concentric circle design the Asus logo is over at the side very clean look Although it's a little bit thick for me, but I don't complain with it. I mean, it's light. It's still portable for me. It's a 14-inch notebook with a nano-edge display. When it comes to ports, this one is already filled with a lot of ports already. We got USB-A, you got USB-C, you got a micro SD card reader. And if you want uh, more, you can use the USB-C and just buy a dongle. So no more problems with that. So you already know the design and the philosophy of uh, the Asus ZenBook Duo. Now, here's, here comes the problem. So we got here the dual display. We got the touchscreen display over here, fine. We got here the main display over here, fine. But the keyboard is placed below the screen pad plus. What's the problem with that? The keyboard is closer to you. So when you're typing, nasa airport kayo, papatang yung salap ng keyboard, medyo mas mahirap kayo because there's no rest uh, resting place for your wrist or your palm. So medyo mas malapit siya sa'yo, it doesn't come with a wrist rest na rubber like the ZenBook Pro Duo and the touchpad is placed over here on the side so medyo similar siya ng layout sa Asus ROG Zephyrus that we have reviewed before however, if nasanay ka na, hindi na siya magiging problema I've been using this one for weeks uh, sa simula, nagkamayon akong problema but after that, I'm actually fine with it and uh, whenever I type on the key on the table, I always place the laptop um, more far further compared to normal notebooks. It's not a problem with me. Simula siguro o pero pag nasani na kayo, well masasani na rin kayo. But again, the problem is sa mga you know hindi sa nais sa gantong layout. But overall, I think worth it yung compromise. Ha? We got the screen pad plus. We got dual display. We can play, we can work, we can do a lot of things with the ScreenPad Plus of the notebook. Now, we're not gonna do a review of the notebook right now. We do not have the performance yet and everything. I haven't benchmarked it already, but I'm actually fine with it, playing some games with it. I'm actually fine with the MX250 and the 10th gen processor of the notebook. 
again, it's very powerful. So, what are the things that you can do with the screen pad? Well, uh, first, let's talk about the buttons included dito sa keyboard and where you could use the screen pad plus. First, uh, this one. So, this is actually a shortcut button in where you could switch uh, the applications that are running on the screen pad plus uh, going to the main monitor. So, by just pressing this button, then automatically lipat siya. We got Steam over here. We got Jam Online below. Something that lang, then malilipat na. Very useful, especially if you're doing, again, cross-referencing sa mga files. So, I've been using this one uh, when typing uh, my reviews. And actually, this one is very useful. Now, you're looking at the ScreenPad Plus. And there's some special features on the ScreenPad Plus of the Asus ZenBook Duo. So, to see that, all you need to do is to press the button over here. And makikita niyo yung mga applications that are optimized for the ScreenPad Plus. Plus, you could do handwriting, you could do quick key, we got number key, we got um, some app deals. So there are a lot of applications that you could use on this one. And for me, I guess uh, for productivity, ko talaga siya magamit when I'm reviewing uh, smartphones, notebooks, and everything. Isa sa mga special na feature na paborito ko dito sa Asus ZenBook Duo is this one. So we got here the shortcut for opening the applications that are of. Oh, that I have already saved. So by just pressing the number three, it will automatically open the applications that I've been running, my favorite applications that I always run on the Asus ZenBook Duo. We got here the music app, we got here the Chrome, and then we got here uh, the Microsoft Word file. This is actually very useful as I can open three applications below, use it for cross-referencing, watch a video over here, play some music over here, play some Spotify or whatever. Then of course, another uh, Word file, then you can use your main um application on the main display this is a very uh productive na talaga na laptop again i'm actually amazed that i can use the screen pad plus in many things so i guess that's it for our video of the asus screen pad plus of the asus zenbook duo this is a very productive laptop i've been using it again for weeks but i'm telling you guys i love using this notebook I love the features of this one and I love the screen pad plus. So yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to give us thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, well, now is the time to subscribe. Don't forget to check out that subscribe button and click that bell button para hindi nyo maligtan ang mga latest videos ng Jam Online. So once again, I am Jam JamOnline.ph. Don't forget to check out the links below. Visitahin nyo po, ilike nyo po ang Facebook natin at sumali sa groups natin. So I'm Jam of JamOnline.ph. See you guys again sa susunod na video.